prepare to bust a gut. Welcome to Watch Mojo, and today we're counting down our picks for the top 10 funniest Ken Jeong moments. Before we begin, we publish new content every day, so be sure to subscribe to our channel and ring the bell to get notified about our latest videos. For this list, we're taking a look at actor and comedian Ken Jeong's memorable comedic roles and funny pop culture moments. Number 10. Carpool Karaoke and Ballet with Kevin Hart. Kevin Hart, what the fit? Hey. Look what you're doing to your sneakers. <laughs> Ken, get your ass in the car, Ken. Let's go. Thank you guys so much. Okay. Whenever two men as funny as Kevin Hart and Ken Jeong come together, the results are hilarious. Jung made an appearance on Hart's show, Kevin Hart, What the Fit, in 2018, accompanying the comedian around town as he learns what it takes to be an NFL player. The two men try their hand at ballet, with predictably side-splitting results. Lengthening our body as long and tall as possible. That's now you're being a smartass. <laughs> and even engage in a little carpool karaoke. I just had the hook. Can it be the girl that had the hook? Yeah. What the fit? Watching Zhang and Hart frolic around on stage in front of professional ballerinas is pure perfection. The way that Zhang and Hart's comedic styles mesh together has us hoping for more content from the duo in the near future. If there's a moment where I could be amazing. Number nine, his acting face-off with his daughter, Jimmy Kimmel Live. <laughs> is this re really your dad? Yeah. <laughs> this is the light of my life, the apple my. This is my daughter. What's your name again? Zoe. Okay. <laughs> Ken Jeong never misses an opportunity to demonstrate just how much he loves his daughters. And during a visit to Jimmy Kimmel Live in 2014, he actually brought his daughter Zoe on stage to critique his new movie Penguins of Madagascar. The clip is nothing short of adorable, as the seven-year-old Zoe does not pull any punches when discussing whether or not the film, or even her father's performance in it, was funny. You like it? Yeah. Uh-huh. Did, did you think the movie was funny? Yeah, you but think, I didn't did, laugh. You didn't laugh? You didn't laugh. Zhang uses treats from his pocket to coax the proper response out of her, much to the amusement of Kimmel and the audience. With upwards of 3.5 million views on YouTube, it's clear this Ken Zhang pop culture moment is one of his most beloved. Oh, I'm the bad guy. Do you want to be an actor too? When, when you grow up, do you want to be an actor? Yeah. I mean, I do. She, she thinks it's so easy to be an actor. She watches me. <laughs> Number 8. His rap battle with Shaq dropped the mic. You think that you're a comic, so let me tell you, Shaq, you are only funny <laughs> because you're fat. <laughs> there is nothing better than a good old-fashioned rap battle. To kick off season two of Drop the Mic, Ken Jeong squared off against NBA legend Shaquille O'Neal. Thankfully for Jeong, size means nothing in a battle of wits, as O'Neal quite literally towers over him. The jokes came hard and fast in this battle, with both men refusing to back down. You once complained about your toe, which ain't no lie, but you want so damn much. I was like, but did you die? <laughs> Despite calls for a recount from Shaq, Zhang walked away victorious, having won over the crowd with a barrage of lyrical dynamite that no doubt left the big man feeling wobbly. Number 7. His appearance on Hot Ones. Hot Ones. You warm me up, I say you're a nice guy. I literally felt we were about to be friends. And now I'm back into change. the gutter of my hatred for Sean Evans. Um, <laughs> If you've yet to check out Hot Ones, the show that features celebrities being interviewed while eating increasingly spicy chicken wings, we encourage you to do so. The questions are always on point, and watching A-listers lose their minds from heat never gets old. Ken Jeong stepped up to the plate in 2019, and unlike comedians like Ricky Gervais and Rob Corddry, he managed to make it through without tapping out. However, the interview process is so much more than Jung downing pitchers of water to soothe his burning mouth. Host Sean Evans dives deep into the actor's past, making the video equal parts enlightening and entertaining. Doing your bowel sounds. You actually got decent bowel sounds, so. Number six, his performance as Wyman Go, Crazy Rich Asians. Crazy Rich Asians was the surprise box office smash of 2018. The film notably had an all Asian cast, a rarity for a mainstream Hollywood film, and the hope is that its success will lead to better representation for Asian actors on the big screen. While the movie had no shortage of hilarious performances, particularly from newcomer Aquafina. You're going to Nick's grandma's house wearing this, wearing that. <laughs> <laughs> Ken Jeong again stole the show. Despite limited screen time, Jung still managed to bring the laughs in a big way. Then eat your nuggets! Watching him put on a thick accent only to reveal he's faking was one of the highlights of the movie. Then 
then again, we are massive Zhang fans, so we might be biased. Nice to meet you too. Uh, Chu, Gu Gu, could you, you, Poo Poo? <laughs> I'm just kidding. I don't, I don't have an accent. Number five, when he answered medical questions on Twitter. Can someone tell me, well, hi, I'm sick after getting a flu shot that's supposed to prevent me from getting sick. Eee, eee, ah, eee, eee. One question mark one. God Just when you thought Ken Zhang couldn't get any funnier, he does a video for Wired in which he answers medical questions on Twitter. Zhang and Twitter go together like peanut butter and jelly, with the actor's razor sharp wit on display from start to finish. He doesn't hold back for a second decimating foolish questions like how do I know if I have the stomach flu or a hangover with boatloads of sarcasm. Did you have food or did you have alcohol? The internet is not for stupidity, ma'am. The internet is for smart, established doctors like me and my friend Lewis here. Think before you tweet. However, some of his advice is actually pretty practical. Making this one Ken Jung video will be bookmarking for later use. Thanks, Doc. Number four, playing Dr. Ken, Dr. Ken. Damn! Damn, indeed! <laughs> Speaking of Ken Jeong's medical past, the North Carolina native earned an MD in 1995 and practiced medicine until his acting career took off. Nowadays, he's more of an honorary doctor, dishing out advice in interviews as such. However, in 2015, he had the opportunity to don the white coat once again when he signed on to play a doctor on the ABC sitcom Dr. Ken. The show was co-created by Zhang and even features his daughter Zoe. The show only lasted for two seasons, but in that time, the funny man managed to cram in a ton of high-quality content that any true Zhang fan owes it to themselves to see. Our son is reading a biography of German Chancellor Angela Merkel. Oh, Angela. Didn't see that coming. Oh, no, she didn't. <laughs> He's turning out weird. <laughs> Number three, his stand-up. I'm a doctor. I'm a medical doctor. We got to talk different at work, right? Hi, I'm Dr. Jung. I'll be your primary care provider. Uh, me love you long time. That kind of thing, right? <laughs> Ken Jung is the master of cameos. He's popped up in dozens of movies, stealing a scene or two and then disappearing for the remainder of the film. As such, many Zhang fans can find themselves clamoring for additional content. Thankfully, Ken Zhang has plenty of stand-up material available online. And let us tell you, it is hilarious. With plenty of time to do his thing, Zhang shines. His wild and uncensored style is something you have to see to believe. In 2019, he dropped his first Netflix special, You Complete Me Ho, and we feel confident saying it'll go down as one of his finest moments. Doing my first Netflix special. You guys have a good time? Number two, playing Ben Chang, Community. Star Burns. That means you. My name's Alex, dude. Well, maybe you should spend five hours sculpting that in your face. If you don't like Community, then, well, we can't be friends. And doubly so if you don't enjoy Ken Jeong's side splitting performance as Ben Chang. Chang starts off as Senor Chang, the crude Spanish teacher the gang is forced to suffer through every week. However, in later seasons, Chang develops into a tyrant hell-bent on Greendale domination. From going full badass in a paintball tournament, to greasing himself up and sliding through the ventilation shafts. Does anybody have any iodine? How many vents are you gonna crawl out of this year? Chang is one of the show's craziest and funniest characters. Oh, and let's not forget all those cheesy Chang puns. Carl? Richie, let me exchange. Before we unveil our number one pick, here are some honorable mentions. Do you want to be the doctor? Because I really don't need to be here. No, what we want is to take a second to talk about our options, okay? That's no, what we want. you mean you want to take a second to tell me how to do my job. My job is to get that baby out safely. Or I can go home. Just let me know. You be the doctor. If you've used a Sherman toaster in the last six months, please watch the following commercial. Or you can say bye, 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 bye to a large cash settlement. Thank you. Thank you, Noble King. Really? Mm-hmm. You know what you wanted. Now exit my burger hole, boy. Number one, playing Mr. Chow, the Hangover franchise. 
Last but certainly not least is Ken Zhang's iconic turn as Mr. Chow in the Hangover trilogy. Mr. Chow. Leslie Chow. His initial appearance remains one of the funniest and most shocking moments in recent film history. Popping out of a trunk butt naked and proceeding to beat the crap out of the wolf pack with a crowbar before running away. He only got funnier as the series went on and eventually became one of the film's lead characters. <laughs> <laughs> the role earned him two Teen Choice Award nominations and a win for Best WTF Moment at the MTV Movie Awards. All that's left to say is toodaloo. Toodaloo, mother oh. hey, you, you Do you agree with our picks? Check out these other great clips from WatchMojo. And be sure to subscribe and ring the bell to be notified about our latest videos.